so again today uh, we are going to solve few questions which were asked in the university of standard costing first question of march 2006 let us try to understand this question calculate material and labor variance from the following data for 5 units of product a the standard data are material 40 kg at the rate of rupees 25 per kg labor 100 hours at the rate of rupees 2.5 per hour now this data the standard standard data which is given to us is for 5 units it is not for one unit so this thing we will have to remember that this data is of five units actual data are actual production 1000 units material 7840 kg at the rate of rupees 27 per kg labor 19800 hours at the rate of rupees 2.60 per hour okay so let us start solving this now if you see this question in this question we want only two thing which is important even though if you don't do table if you don't prepare table still we will be able to answer this question if you convert this two things one standard unit for actual output of material and standard unit of actual output for labor if you are able to convert this two thing no need of preparing table so let us see that let us try to do uh, in that way first we will calculate standard kg for actual output standard kg for actual output this is regarding materials for 5 unit we have 40 kg so for actually is 1000 units it will be how much so that is equal to 1000 into 40 divided by 5 8000 correct so we can say 8000 kg this is a standard kg for actual output same way we will calculate for labor also standard hours for actual output for 5 units we have 100 hours so for 1000 unit it will be how much this 
1000 into 100 divided by 5 will give you 20,000 hours. So once this information is ready, we can start. We have to calculate all the material variances and all the labor variances. So let us start the first one. The first thing that we are going to solve material cost variance material cost variance is equal to now here we will write the formula standard quantity into standard price minus actual quantity into actual price this is nothing but standard cost minus actual cost now here in this uh, question we have not prepared the table we are doing directly hence we are using this formula standard quantity into standard price minus actual quantity into actual price so let us put the value standard quantity we want standard for actual standard quantity for actual output huh? so we will take 8000 standard quantity as 8000 standard quantity into standard price standard price if you see the question it is 25 minus actual quantity into actual price actual quantity is uh, given in the question 7840 into actual price is also given in the question uh, it is 27 so if we solve this we will get 8000 into 25 will give you 2 lakhs minus 7840 into 27 will give you 2 lakh 11680 so that is equal to yes very good rupees 11680 adverse let us calculate the second one material usage variance formula for material usage variance is standard quantity minus actual quantity into standard price standard quantity uh, for standard quantity of material is 8000 minus actual quantity is 7840 into standard price is 25 so if we solve this 8000 minus 7840 will give you 160 160 into 25 so 160 into 25 
gives you rupees 4000 and this is favorable Now let us calculate the third part of material variance. Material price variance. Formula is material price variance is equal to standard price minus actual price into actual quantity that is equal to standard price 25 minus actual price 27 into actual quantity is 7840 so if we solve this we will get minus 2 into 7840 that is equal to 7840 into minus 2 15,680 correct adverse so we will say 15,680 adverse now let us uh, try to tally this let us verify how to verify Material cost variance is equal to material usage variance plus material price variance. So, material cost variance is 11,680 adverse is equal to material usage variance 4,000. favorable plus 15,680 adverse so that is equal to 11,680 adverse is equal to 4,000 4, minus 4,000 minus 15,680 will give you 11,680 minus 11,680. So we can say we are going on a right track. So this is how you can verify Now let us uh, calculate the labor variances. labor cost variance formula for labor cost variance is equal to 
again we'll have to use the formula standard R into standard rate minus actual R into actual rate let us put the value standard R if you see the question we have calculated standard R for actual output we got 20,000 so 20,000 into standard rate it is given in the question 2.60 minus actual R again given in the question 19,800 into actual rate is 2. Point, uh, sorry I did one mistake standard rate is not 2.60 it is 2.50 and actual rate is 2.60 Now let us solve this. Twenty thousand into two point five will give you fifty thousand minus nineteen thousand eight hundred into two point six will give you fifty one thousand four eighty. So if we solve this, we will get very good rupees one thousand four eighty adverse. Let us calculate the next part of labor variance. Labor efficiency variance. The formula is labor efficiency variance is equal to standard R minus actual R into standard rate so that is equal to standard R is uh, 20,000 minus actual R is 19,800 and the standard rate is 2.50 So if we solve this, we will get 200 into 2.50. So that is, uh, is it 5,000? Lakshmi, it won't be 5,000. Yeah. One zero was extra, it is rupees five hundred. Five hundred favorable. The last part of labor variance.
labor rate variance labor rate variance is equal to standard rate minus actual rate into actual hour that is equal to standard rate is 2.50 minus actual rate is uh, 2.60 into actual hour is 19,800. So 2.5 minus 2.6 will give you minus 0 0.1 into 19,800. So if we multiply 19,800, we will get rupees 1,980. Adverse. I hope even you are getting the same thing. One nine eight zero. Good. Now let us verify. Labor cost variance is equal to labor efficiency variance plus labor rate variance so labor cost variance is 1480 adverse labor efficiency variance is 500 favorable plus labor rate variance is 1000 980 adverse that is equal to 1480 adverse 500 uh, okay so 500 minus 1980 we are getting same 1480 adverse so again we were on right track so this is how we were able to solve the question of March 2006 now let us go for the next question April 2014 let us try to understand what is given in the question from the following information calculate first labor cost variance labor rate variance and labor efficiency variance uh, please one more thing is important the sequence which is given in the question maintain that sequence first is labor cost variance so we will calculate labor cost then second is labor rate so we will calculate labor rate then labor efficiency variance follow this sequence while solving now the information which is given to us is particular standard information and actual information number of hours per unit standard is 360 actual is 400 rate per hour in rupees 1.50 1.40 what exactly we want to calculate we want to calculate only these two things now here Actually, th this question is very simple because both the information are of per unit. If you see, standard is also per unit, 360, and actually, is actual this 400 R is also of per unit. So you can compare both. You don't have to convert or you don't have to find out standard for actual output and all those things is that clear so this question is very simple we can compare both let us start
the first thing that we will have to calculate is labor cost variance labor cost variance is equal to we'll use the formula standard r into standard rate minus actual r into actual rate let us put the value standard r 360 into standard rate uh, is 1.50 minus actual r actual r is 400 into actual rate is 1.40 so if we solve this we will get uh, 360 into 1.5 will give you 540 540 minus 400 into 1.4 will give you 560 so that is equal to 540 minus 560 rupees 20 adverse I hope even you are getting 20 adverse, right? So let us circle this. Let us calculate the second part. Labor rate variance. Now this time the second thing that we are going to calculate is labor rate variance because it is asked in the question in such a manner first labor cost then labor rate so let us calculate labor rate variance the formula for labor rate variance is equal to standard rate minus actual rate into actual r that is equal to standard rate is 1.50 minus actual rate is 1.40 into actual R is 400 that is equal to 1.50 minus 1.4 will give you 0 0.1 0 0.1 into 400 that is equal to 1.40 rupees 40 favorable Now let us calculate the last part.
labor efficiency variance is equal to standard R minus actual R into standard rate that is equal to standard R kitna hai standard R kitna hai it is 360 minus actual R actual R is 400 into standard rate standard rate is 1.50 Standard rate 1.50 yes so now if we solve this we will get minus 40 into 1.50 so you will get rupees very good 60 adverse please verify zip tally minus 20 is equal to minus 20 is equal minus 20 is equal to plus 40 minus 60 Ah, it's starting plus 40 minus 60 will give you minus 20 so it is correct so again uh, this was the question of April 2014 now let us go for the next one October 2011 Let us try to understand this question. From the following information, calculate labor variances. Again, here also uh, we have to calculate only labor variance. So if you see the pattern in few questions, they asked uh, both the variances, material as well as labor. And in few questions, they asked only labor variance. So you might get this type of question in the exam. You will get either both the variances or only one variance. So this time we will have to calculate labor variance. The information is standard hours for six unit is 42 hours. Okay, so this information is of six unit. That means if you produce 6 unit it will take 42 hours standard rate per unit now this information is for one unit this information is for one unit is rupees 5.60 that means one unit is of 5.60 actual production 2100 units actual hours 14500 hours and actual rate per hour is 0 0.85 okay so uh, we want uh, four things first standard rate for actual output second standard hour for actual output standard rate for actual output actual or actual rate so let us calculate the first thing standard or for actual output standard R for actual output this 
दिस विल बी फॉर सिक्स यूनिट फोर्टी टू आवर्स ना सो फॉर टू थाउजेंड वन हंड्रेड यूनिट इट विल बी हाउ मच सो योर कैलकुलेशन विल बी लाइक दिस टू थाउजेंड वन हंड्रेड इन टू फोर्टी टू डिवाइड बाय सिक्स सी हाउ मच यू गेटिंग Two thousand one hundred into forty-two divided by six will give you correct fourteen thousand seven hundred. What to write here? Hours fourteen thousand seven hundred hours. This was standard hour for actual output. Do you know the standard rate? Standard rate what will be standard rate because if you see the information which is given in the question standard rate per unit is given but we don't want per unit because we are calculating labor variances we want per hour we don't want per unit aapka ek unit ka kitna rate hai wo nahi chahiye humko वी वॉन्ट एक घंटे का कितना रेट है देन ओनली यू कैन मल्टीप्लाई विथ फोर्टीन थाउजेंड सेवन हंड्रेड आर्स फोर्टीन थाउजेंड सेवन हंड्रेड आर इज अवर स्टैंडर्ड आर सो ना हाउ टू कैलकुलेट द स्टैंडर्ड रेट पर आर वी विल हैव टू कैलकुलेट with the information which is available to us let us try to find out kaun sa information hamare liye useful rahega because we want standard rate per hour the first information which is given to us is standard hours for 6 unit is 42 hours matlab 6 unit banane ke liye 42 hours lagta hai 42 घंटा
for six you need 42 hours that means agar ek unit banane ka rahega to kitna kitna hours lagega for one unit six unit ke liye 42 hours na for one unit very good for one unit seven hours ठीक है चलो एक इन्फॉर्मेशन अपने को मिला एक यूनिट बनाने के लिए सात घंटा लगता है और एक यूनिट का रेट कितना है फाइव पॉइंट सिक्स That means हम लोग ऐसा बोल सकते हैं ना आपका एक यूनिट सात घंटे में बनता है तो सात घंटे का रेट कितना हुआ सात घंटे का रेट कितना है फाइव पॉइंट सिक्स जीरो बिकॉज एक यूनिट का रेट फाइव पॉइंट सिक्स जीरो है ना और एक यूनिट बनता है सात घंटे में दैट मीन्स आपका सात घंटे का रेट हुआ फाइव पॉइंट सिक्स जीरो तो अगर हम लोग को एक घंटे का रेट मालूम करने का है तो कितना होएगा सात घंटे का रेट कितना है फाइव पॉइंट सिक्स जीरो एक घंटे का रेट कितना होएगा क्रॉस मल्टीप्लिकेशन वेरी सिंपल सात घंटे का रेट है फाइव पॉइंट सिक्स जीरो तो एक घंटे का रेट कितना होएगा वेरी गुड जीरो पॉइंट एट जीरो ये हमको क्या मिल गया हमको एक घंटे का रेट मिल गया कैसे कैलकुलेट किया हम लोग ने पहला तो हम लोग ने देखो हम लोग ने ये देखा छ यूनिट बनाने के लिए फोर्टी टू आवर्स लगता है तो हम लोग ने फाइंड आउट किया कि एक यूनिट बनाने के लिए कितना घंटा लगेगा तो आपने बताया एक यूनिट बनाने के लिए सात घंटा लगता है ठीक है एक यूनिट बनाने के लिए सात घंटा लगता है अभी एक यूनिट का रेट कितना है फाइव मतलब एक यूनिट बनाने के लिए सात घंटा लगता है तो सात घंटे का रेट हुआ ना फाइव पॉइंट सिक्स जीरो अगर सात घंटे का रेट फाइव पॉइंट सिक्स जीरो है तो एक घंटे का रेट कितना होएगा यू विल हैव टू क्रॉस मल्टीप्लाई एंड आपने बराबर बताया इट इज़ जीरो पॉइंट एट जीरो सो दिस इज हाउ वी विल हैव टू थिंक इन द एग्जाम ऑल्सो सो इट विल बी रुपीज 5.60 divided by 7. That is equal to rupee 0 0.80 per hour. Next we want is actual actual or so actual or is already given in the question which is 14,500 and actual rate is equal to rupee zero point eight five per hour. 
सो नाउ द नाइन्टी परसेंट ऑफ प्रॉब्लम इज सॉल्व ये डेटा एक बार आपके पास अवेलेबल हो गया देन लाइफ बिकम्स वेरी सिंपल लेट एस स्टार्ट विद द फर्स्ट वन देर देर इज नो सिक्वेंस गिवन सो वी कैन कैलकुलेट इन एनी मैनर फर्स्ट वी विल कैलकुलेट लेबर कॉस्ट वेरियंस द फॉर्मूला इज स्टैंडर्ड आर इन टू स्टैंडर्ड रेट माइनस एक्चुअल आर इन टू एक्चुअल रेट दैट इज इक्वल टू स्टैंडर्ड आर इज फोर्टीन थाउजेंड सेवन हंड्रेड टाइपिंग मिस्टेक फोर्टीन थाउजेंड सेवन हंड्रेड इन टू स्टैंडर्ड रेट इज जीरो पॉइंट एट जीरो वो विच वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड माइनस एक्चुअल और इज फोर्टीन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड इन टू एक्चुअल रेट इज जीरो पॉइंट एट फाइव सो इफ वी कैलकुलेट दिस वी विल गेट फोर्टीन थाउजेंड सेवन हंड्रेड इंटू जीरो पॉइंट एट फाइव 12,325. So that is equal to 11,760 minus 12,325 will give you 565. So we'll say rupees 565. Edwards. Correct. Second, labor efficiency variance the formula is standard r minus actual r into standard rate that is equal to standard r is 14700 Minus actual R is fourteen thousand five hundred into standard rate is zero point eight zero. So two hundred into zero point eight zero will give you very good. That is equal to rupees one sixty. Favorable. Hmm. 
Now let us calculate the third one. Labor rate variance. Labor rate variance is equal to what is the formula? Standard rate minus actual rate into actual hours. That is equal to standard rate is zero point eight zero minus actual rate. 0 0.85 into actual R actual R is 14,500 so that is equal to minus 0 0.05 into 14,500 So, 0 0.05 minus into 14,500 will give you And uh, let us verify 725. So 160 minus 725, we are getting 565 adverse, minus 565. That means we are correct. Now let us go for the next question, March 2011, let us try to understand this, from the following information calculate first labor cost variance, labor rate variance, labor efficiency variance. Standard R for 4 unit is 24 hours. Okay. Standard rate is rupees 18 per unit. Again, if you see, this 18 rupees is per unit. Actual production 1800 unit. Actual R is 10,500 hours. Actual rate is 3.10 per hour. This is very much similar to the question which we have solved just now. let us start this only the what is important in this question is this thing standard rate rest all is simple only standard rate is important so let us start First, we will calculate standard hours for actual output. Four units, twenty-four hours. Actual is one thousand eight hundred units. So your calculation will be one thousand eight hundred into. 24 divided by 4 so let's see 
1800 into 24 divided by 4 will give you 10,800 so this is a standard R standard rate now this Lakshmi you will have to calculate and tell me Very good, rupees 3. So it is 18 divided by 6. 6 for the 24. It will be rupees 3. Excellent. Actual hours is 10,500. Actual rate is rupees three point one zero. So now the life became very simple. Now we have to just use the formula and put the values into that. First, let us calculate labor cost variance. labor cost variance is equal to standard R into standard rate minus actual R into actual rate so standard R is 10,800 into standard rate is 3 minus actual R is 10,500 into actual rate is 3.10 so if we solve this we will get 10,800 into 3 will give you 32,400 minus 10,500 into 3.10 will give you 32,550 so that is equal to two, two, 32,400 minus 32,550 uh oh minus 150 so we will say 150 adverse Now we will calculate the second part. So they have already given in sequence the second is labor rate variance. So 
the, the rate variance is equal to standard rate minus the actual rate into actual R standard rate is 3 minus actual rate is 3.10 into actual R is 10,500 that is equal to minus 0 0.10 into 10,500 so that is equal to 1050 at doors Third, labor efficiency variance, labor efficiency variance is equal to standard R minus actual R into standard rate. That is equal to standard R. Standard R is ten thousand eight hundred minus actual R is ten thousand five hundred into standard rate is three. So ten thousand eight. 300 into 3 so that will give you rupees 900 and this is favorable you who let us tally 1050 adverse okay so that is 900 minus 1050 wow 150 adverse it is stalling excellent so today successfully we completed four questions of standard costing which were asked in the exam So let us stop today. So let me wind up today's. Uh, Lakshmi, is this fine if we wind up today? Hello, Lakshmi. Can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Lakshmi, can you hear me? Uh, 
is it fine if we wind up today already we have completed four questions 